Hey everybody, Dave here at Ground Zero. It's Wednesday morning, that makes it new comic book day, and the shipment is here right on time, exactly on schedule, and it's a colossal shipment, a really big week for comic fans. So how are we going to encapsulate all this comic book goodness in one little comic book segment? Well, you'll just have to wait and find out. But buckle up, we got a lot to cover. First off, everybody has been clamoring, give us more King in Black, to which Marvel says, give us your money. First off, we get uh, Donny Cates' Run on Venom, a book everybody is already reading, uh, but everybody is not necessarily reading Symbiote Spider-Man, but you should. It's Peter David. Peter David needs your love, so buy this book. Um, also on The King of Black um, is Return of Valkyries. I haven't read this book yet, but I'm going to go on a limb here and say The Valkyries Return. Just call me psychic. But am I right? You'll have to read the book to find out. Uh, if you're an X-Men fan, a couple of new X-Family books this week. Uh, first off, Hellions, um, but then also X-Factor. Now in X-Factor, they have been hunting down missing or dead mutants to find out what happened to them, and in some cases, resurrect them, because there is no such thing as an expired mutant. Who do they go after in this book? You'll have to buy it and see. Uh, but wait, as they say, there's more, because Hellcat and Iron Man are still fighting Korvac to try and stop him from becoming cosmic. He is on the verge of acquiring cosmic godlike powers, and we all know in the Marvel Universe, that's a bad thing. Do they stop him before he goes cosmic nuclear? Yeah, you'll have to read the book and find out. Uh, also, Last Remains did really, really well for Spider-Man, and in this book, he is now dealing with the fallout from that storyline. Saved my favorite Marvel book for last. They're really pushing this one as the next big thing, and I normally scoff at that. Scoff, I say. But in this case, they actually got my number because it's the Eternals. Now, I loved the Kirby Eternals. I love classic Kirby cosmic goodness. Uh, this book actually does a pretty good job of taking that into the 21st century. They've got a dream team. Uh, Kieran Gillen doing the writing and Asad Ribic doing the art. You could not ask for a better team to update the Eternals for today. So make, put Eternals on your list. It's actually a really good book. Uh, now, if you're a DC fan, there's only one book you're clamoring for at the moment, and that is Death Metal. Death Metal, final issue ships this week, wrapped up in a nice shiny metallic cover. I won't give you any spoilers, but suffice to say, they untangled the knotted DC multiverse continuity, leaving everything open for endless possibilities for the future, which brings us to Future State. Future State arrives this week. Um, a lot of you already know... Future State started out as 5G back when Dan Didio was in charge of DC, but then AT&T came along and said, we're not going to do this. We, 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 you know, we have movies. Um, and the accountant said, fine, no, no problem. We can just, we can just write this off. To which AT&T said, we've already paid for this. We're doing 5G. We'll do it as Future State. And it's a two-month deal where, where you won't have any Superman or, or Batman or regular Justice League books. Instead, you get to look at the possible futures of these characters. Think of it kind of like what Marvel did with Age of Apocalypse, uh, except a little bit brighter. Either way, we get several starting this week. Uh, Flash in particular. Also, Future State Harley Quinn. Uh, Superman of Metropolis. This is where Connor Kent now takes over as Superman. Uh, and then, really, one of my favorites, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing actually looks really good. It's got, it's got terrific art. Um, I actually really liked this one. It looks pretty. It's got a great story by Ram V. So uh, definitely, I think this will be one of the sleeper hits of the Future State books. But you say to me, well, that's all fine and well, Dave. Yes, I guess I'm intrigued, but are any of these characters going to get TV or movie deals? Well, actually, yeah, some of them will. Uh, so the books people are even more excited about is Wonder Woman with a brand new Wonder Woman character. Uh, and the book that actually made the New York Times, I think this morning, uh, and that is the next Batman Tim Fox takes over as Batman. Speculators are going absolutely nuts. But the book is actually pretty good, so definitely a book that uh, will probably generate the most heat in your local comic shop. Moving over to trades. Lots of good trades this week. Uh, Firepower from Robert Kirkman actually kind of quietly snuck up on everybody, uh, but it's actually turned out to be a really solid hit. And if you didn't get in on it at the beginning, I can't get you the back issues. They're, they're, they're gone. They're sold out. Luckily, the trades are coming out pretty promptly. The second volume hits the shelves this week. Uh, a book you have probably not heard of, but one I'm going to recommend, I really kind of like, because it's good, goofy fun, Atomic Legion. It's really, really a return to kind of the pulp goodness of, of comics of yesteryear. If you're looking for something with that wow factor in comics, this is kind of the book. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. 
Uh, speaking of a lot of fun, Grant Morrison's take on Santa Claus. Yes, Klaus. The New Adventures of Santa Claus. When you see Grant Morrison's name, you know you're in for a wild ride. It's got great art by Dan Mora. It's a butt-kicking Santa Claus. Do I really have to say more? Uh, also, Harrow County has been reformatted now into some thick omnibus editions. This is an excellent series. If you haven't actually read it yet, this is your chance. I highly recommend this book if you're looking for something spooky, uh, kind of mystery horror series. Good series, definitely one you want to check out. And now it's an omnibus. Uh, also, old stuff. We all know I like the old stuff. Uh, Wonder Woman from George Perez. We're continuing to collect those runs. We're up to volume five of these, so if you're a Wonder Woman fan, and or a George Perez fan, or just a general fan of DC Comics, you want it. Uh, meanwhile, Marvel. I rag on Marvel a lot, but one thing they do really, really right is their epic collections. Because uh, let's face it, history of Marvel is really a giant superhero soap opera. This stuff is best served in thick slices where you can actually get a long run of the storyline. Most of these tend to have 25 or so issues in a run. Uh, really, definitely the way to read the history of the Marvel Universe. This week, we get three, three big ones. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Avengers West Coast, and The Incredible Hulk. Definitely, if you don't have these original issues, you want the, uh, the, these editions on your shelf if you're a Marvel fan at all. Or if you're a superhero fan, whatever. Uh, meanwhile, one thing that's not old, it's actually quite new, uh, is Donny Cates' run on Guardians of the Galaxy. Everybody loves Donny Cates, and for good reason. He's awesome, he's doing great work. Uh, but a lot of people missed his Guardians of the Galaxy, now you get a chance to read it in this hardcover edition. So there you have it. That's the highlights. This is maybe a quarter of the books that came in this week, because there was a lot of stuff. So absolutely make a trek into your local comic shop and see what it has in store. And folks, as always, it's not about having what you want. Guys, it's about wanting what you have. Everybody, have a great week. Let's make 2021 the year we forget all about 2020. Take care, everybody.